got them. They're ours. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Gwar. Yeah. Yeah. Eric, oh, that's us. Eric, <laughs> Eric Burden and Gwar. Now, now, please introduce yourselves to the British public because a lot of people, we've read about you in the papers, we've seen most of the things. What, uh, just explain. Well, my name is Odorus Eurongus. I am the lead singer of Gua, the Prime Minister of the Sinister and Counselor of Chaos. This is my friend and compatriot who will introduce himself for you starting now. Yes, thank you. I am Beef Cake to my dear. And the purpose of Gua is, of course, as you can tell from our accoutrement, to destroy. Destruction, is that what it's all about? Because well, I was watching the clip this afternoon. I've seen uh, a few things that you've done. And I, I thought, basically, that it was a very a sensitive message and something you guys are obviously sharing individuals. Beefcake speaks rashly. You spoke rashly. Rashly. I'm but sorry. still, yet. Rash. Martin. No, what's your name again? Uh, Martin. Bill. Martin. Jonathan. You Jonathan. Can call me Jonathan. Jonathan. We we'll call you Jonathan. Okay. What was the question again? The I question forgot. was, uh, what is the message that Gore brings to uh, the people of Britain? Well, to tell you the truth, Barty, that I am incredibly drunk right now, and I really don't know what the hell it's all about. <laughs> oh, join the club. But, no, yes. Well, oh. let, me, let me just say, Mr. Sajak. <laughs> Mr. Sajak. Uh, the purpose of Gore is, of course... We, we are artful, artful geniuses, and we only want to share our brilliance with the British public. Of course, your government, and uh, in, in, in particular, your National Guard has other ideas, but we shall crush them as we have done so many times before. Okay, well, listen, for people who haven't seen Gwar, let's take a look at the video. What's the name of the song? I, I don't know. I don't know. This is the brand new one from Gwar. Yeah. I don't know. God, they're here. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got them. They're ours. We love them. They're warm. They're genuine. They're friendly. They're gore. Well, yes. Well, thank you very much. And let me say, Abraham Lincoln, your show is very tremendous. I'm loving it extremely much. And uh, so is my cuttlefish of Cthulhu. Mm. Mm. Yeah. We enjoy it, yes. It's an exclusive. I've never Only interviewed from the one. Waste up like Elvis. Now, guys, what do you think about other bands doing the same sorts of things as you? Well, no other band could ever do the same sort of things as we, because, of course, we are immortal warriors who have been alive for at least 30 billion years. I mean, do I look like any human being you've ever seen in your entire life before? Beefcake, set, set him straight, He looks please. a little bit like my manager, actually. Well, you see, we influence all rock and roll music from the dawn of time. Of course, there is no mortal whose paltry attempts to imitate Guar can, uh, 
can uh, carry on or be successful. We are the true artful geniuses of your time. And if you would just drop down your little uh, uh, knickers, so to speak, and uh, right. accept us, then you would... Sounds like a us. music cue to me. <laughs> Red hey, Hot Chili Peppers. No, 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 we'll be back in a moment with more gore. Oh, more gore than you can handle. A Stevie Wonder on heavy medication. My guests, Darth Vader and Ben Hur, ladies and gentlemen. No, 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 you are confusing us with film stars. No, no, I'm all the rest. This is Beefcake the Mighty over here. Go One on. more mistake and your nipples shall be flayed. Hey, that's something to look for. Oh, nipple flayed? No, no, thank you, no. Now, listen, tell me, a lot of people in the office today were saying that uh, you guys were uh, Satanists and devil worshippers. No, no, no. no absolutely I'm sorry, not. I'm sorry. Continually on this tour, we have been plagued by these accusations of satanic worship. Now, let me tell you a little something Please. about your world. You see, Satan is a minor, third-rate demon at best. I found hell in a little uh, sewer entrance below Cleveland in the United States. Right, right. I went down there and did some extremely nasty things to his bunghole. Now Satan worships me. You don't know John Shuttleworth, by any chance, do you? No, I don't. Plays and, and, and a little organ, has a little I find bucket. your banal comments unappealing. Thank you so much. Over to you, Ben. Well, uh, who's going to win the Super Bowl? Well, I don't know who will win the Super Bowl, but I have one thing to say. You know, one of these humans who has been tossing around these accusations about our Satanism is this uh, Reverend David Carr. And, you know, I am a big fan of Tom Jones. Yeah. And I believe that who the is last it? time... Tom Jones. Tom Jones yeah. is wonderful, right? He's the king. The last time I went to see the king, I saw someone... I'm not going to say it was him, you know but he looked him. an awful lot like Mr. David Carr, and he was collecting the knickers, dressed as a woman, off the stage that these old Bettys were tossing up at Tom, totally true. sniffing them, and then burning them in a ritualistic praise to Satan. I don't know what this world is coming shame, to. Shame, shame, shame. Can you feel it on your TV set? Get closer to the feel the vibe of these people. These are very, very subtle and very sensitive guys. We are artists, you know, and we are often mistaken for bloodthirsty barbarian mutant killers and marauders. Which is true, but we are also artists. I mean, look at my countenance. Oh, isn't that cute? You've got like a soft little underbelly there. Yes, I call it my clit chin. Right, uh, it's another music cue. Ladies and gentlemen, yeah. that just about wraps up the show. Boy, is that the time? Knock, knock, knock that naughty clock that uh, goes so fast. Our time has passed and very shortly we'll be ending this show and my career. But uh, I think I have time for one more question before the uh, security guys get here in force. Um, let me ask you, how many gigs have you done so far in Britain? Mm. Well, you see, our history with Britain goes back many, many years when we first constructed Stonehenge to play croquet. Now, our latest tour has been, of course, destroyed by the stinking government of your planet. And, you know, you really should get rid of those guys. They're no fun at all. They're, they're taking care of all our... Get rid of... That I'm getting too upset, Beefcake. Why don't you take okay, over? Okay, Beefcake, uh, Beefcake, well, would you know, like to sort of... Uh... As I said earlier, okay... We have met the National Guard before, and we are we're not... Looking, we're looking for a soft, fluffy ending to the show. Okay, well, we Say are something not... about kittens. We are not afraid to oh. destroy your boobies, or whatever you call your policemen. We... Bobbies. It, it, bobbies. Bobbies, oh, I see, I see. The men with the funny hats, they wear it's, it's, more. it's no problem to squash those little polyurethane things they wear on their heads. Well, Quar will continue on, despite the English government and their stuffy little uh, nose-blowing sessions okay. they have. Well, that's basically it. We are at Gwar. World War One and World War Three. Thank you very much for coming on, Gwar. We and, love uh, you. We, Thank you I very love you much. Too. And now let me give you gifts. Oh, thank oh. you so much. Oh. 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 Oh.